know. Um, country, the format wasn't exactly what it is now. Yeah. And um, right now it's not not. Mm. Well, <laughs> interestingly enough, we kind of really hasn't haven't changed what we've what we've always done, but it just works now at country. It actually works at country better than it works anywhere else. You put a banjo on this song. Mm -mm, mm -mm. See. Oh that's man, that's a banjo. hit. Yes, we have oh, a country that. I would love to redo a lot of my old stuff and do it. Do it. Like Why not? Yeah, you show. should. I'll It'll produce it. Judy and I will produce it over a weekend. It'll be great. Over a weekend with Why a not? whole, like a case of beer, a couple uh -huh. of cases of beer. We'll get Cop Rock up on videotape. Cop mm -hmm. Rock, put that I'll on there and have a good old time. Hairspray out, boost my hair up. So now you feel like the country's time has come for you. You know, honestly, I'm a little reticent to even say that because I feel like it's such a sacred format and I love it so much. And uh, Brad Paisley's the one that came to me and said, when are you going to come home and make a country record? And I told him, I said, I'm nervous about doing it. I've seen other pop people try to make that crossover. And he said, but you should have always been here. And um, So hold on. Is, was that something that you outwardly had said that you wanted to be in country or he just sensed that about you that that's where you belong well i've lived in nashville for the last eight years and i've done really since the very beginning um emmy lou was one of the first people that championed me and she came out and played with us a lot and brought levon helm and then introduced me to willie and um and vince and so i found that i was kind of in the uh what i feel like is the royalty guard of of country Absolutely. and then later on um I got kind of absorbed by Interscope Records, and they had um, Lonesome Highway, and I tried to get them to switch me over to country, and they just, nobody seemed to know what to do with me, so when I got off Interscope a couple of years ago, I signed with Warner Nashville, which has just been a, a real treat. Mm -hmm. So here we are, and um, I said, look, we'll see what the country, country fan base, how they feel about me, and so far it's going great. Well, kick us some flavor, so, though. I want to hear what you got. You got well, we've got a new song out um, that we really appreciate you guys are already playing called Easy, but, so we'll play you something else. This is... Um, this is a song called Call Me When I'm Lonely, and I've got my little buddy here, Peter Stroud, who's played with me for a lot of years and who has the most bad um, mutton Peter. chops. Oh, ever. I love those. Wow. And great hair, yeah, my And great hair, right? Yeah. That's really the only reason I keep him around. <laughs> His sideburns make almost look like a third grader, I'm just telling you. I know, you. I know. I know. Sorry, I know. And actually, funny, funny enough, he's played with me for a long time, but he had.